your dad, huh? Where else would I be? You never know about people. Don't. What? Don't stare at me, please. Where you been? Been knocking around. It's over. We hear that flying is the safest way to travel. Based on the number of people who fly each year in the U.S., your chances are three million to one that a major carrier or commuter crash will kill you. Those are pretty great odds. But tell that to the hundreds of passengers who went down on these devastated planes. What's the matter with you? Yeah, like you don't know. Well, so now I'm a mind reader? Is that another fucking mind reader like that jag off on Carson? On it's Carson? Trouble. You know, you prefer to be the director telling everyone what to do. It's pretty painfully obvious, isn't it? It's somewhat painful, yes. <laughs> you know, there's something you'll find out about me. What's that? Christmas. I just thought I'd make you boys a nice Christmas meal. Oh, my. He's gonna have a hard time eating like that. I can feed him if you like. You just set that tray down right there, and you get yourself out of here. Oh, what are you doing? Something's wrong. Hold her! Something's not right. Well, then get in the car. There's no time! Go, get in the car! Breathless. How fast you walk. I thought I'd never catch up with you. But I've been sitting here for nearly an hour. Waiting for me, I hope. Waiting to see if you would come. Weren't you sure that I would? If I waited long enough. But I only had a limited time to give to the experience. Why limited? You interest me strangely. The English and the Scots came out of trenches on the right. I'm quite perspiring with anticipation. <laughs> you must know, Captain Shandy, that I have taken an interest in you. But... A food. What? A ball speed. What is it, a dog or a car? If it was a car, it'd be a Boston Ferrari. Lingo. Sorry, Ma. That head of yours is too oil for them shoulders. Now, can we talk about something else other than your dog and this good Joe? You let me name him and all? Enough. You seem an unlikely candidate for this kind of work. Why, well, because I don't wear socks and sandals. Touche. I still want to make a difference, you know. Really? Yes, really. I want to have fun too, though. A bit of adventure, something different. You look amazing. Hello, Misha. Who's this? Adam. Hi, Adam. What do you do? I install wireless security systems. Um, custom built. How old are you, Adam? Savant. Without a savant. Well, it's always nice to have fresh blood at these things. Which reminds me, I am here with Sophie Mays. I want you to meet her. Her new film, The Making of a Saint. The buzz is amazing. What are you, a publicist? I don't really like that word, Sydney. Christian, you're looking very bright-eyed this morning. I was thinking. Yeah, what were you thinking? How I'm going to get out of here. Well, you know, I'm thinking exactly the same thing. Can I get out of here soon? What's wrong, Mr. Microcosm of macro. Well, we bought it. Ah, hey, it's a made of American wood, floating on the sea. And then he'll be strangled by hemp and rope until he is quite dead. I don't know what you're talking about. Ask your husband. 
He knows. He knows all about it. English! Pegasus! They're going to make you kill Xiang Ping! You're insane! <laughs> 81, thank God. He won't help you. He's the third member of Vortex, aren't you, Simon? Hey. Okay, Pat, thanks. Congratulations. Your idea. That was your catch. Is she really in? We'll see. Well, they'll run up past Kevin Mulville. One. No. Not too tight. Oh, I can never do this. Not too tight. Excuse me? When you press too much, it's not good for blood. Huh? So what's the plan? I'm going to soak in my toe. And I'm going to call my significant other. And I'm going shopping. I swear to God. What about Dad? We can see him tomorrow. You are the nurse. He needs his rest. I thought you didn't speak French. Of course I do, don't you? Well, those boxes we were talking about, just let me know you want them. Okay, I'll, I'll be right with you. I need to get back. Listen, go we'll find him. Dad, it's been three days. The police are baffled. Where are you cut? We'll figure it out. A pledge from the robots. Earth to be, unsullied by overpopulation and pollution, brave new world. Cradle Mountain, Tasmania. Sahib, if the food is incorrect, we are very sorry. We will take it away. No, please, leave it. You don't think. Why not? Mm. You're an actress. Clearly, you've never set foot in a theatre, otherwise you'd know my work. I must admit, I am more of a cinema enthusiast. I see. Never cared much for the movies myself. Although, I do have a superb script. My husband wrote it for me. Exposure, his first work. Oh, my office. Uh, what? Wait, wait. This is your boss? You're the boss? We have a real-life Judy Dench in our midst. You are the boss, and yet you have not sacrificed one ounce of femininity. Why have we been spending all of this time talking to the men when this being has been floating through the halls? Only one. Indeed. That is the case with this problem. So why is it trivial if it's so important? Now, I, I saw x equals zero and y equals zero was the only one, so I didn't waste my time with it, a.k.a. trivial. I believe you're convoluting your words. I'm not. It's very misleading. The book even says paradoxically. Sit down. Bravo. Go tell my son I am here. His name is Yakov. Junior, that is, will be right down. Unless, of course, you'd like to take her drink up to her. I can always get a fresh one. Karen. The general atmosphere is very Macbethish. What has or is about to happen? What's he talking about? Macbeth. We know you. We've seen you before, like. Find him. You need to come with me right now. I know I am. In the dark times, small things remind us of our humanity. How would you like to visit New York tonight? Sure. Open your eyes. I'm sorry.